Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, tighten up your interviews with the new Morph Cut Transition. If you've ever shot interviews and people are answering questions off the cuff, they tend to uh, have a little bit of uh, uh, ums and ahs and thoughts and little spaces, and it can be a little bit troublesome. Um, you can get away with cutting a straight cut and then put in a transition, a dip to black or white, uh, but they don't always work. Well, there's a new transition in Premiere Pro called the Morph Cut Transition, and it, and it seamlessly uh, will edit uh, somebody together. Now, when it works, it's amazing. When it doesn't, it doesn't. You need a fairly static uh, person sitting in one place. They're not moving and their head exaggerated. And you need a fairly static background. My background here would not work. It's always changing. I'll show you two examples, one with a static background, one with a fire in the background burning that totally screws everything up. Let's take a look. So let's uh, listen to this first. It, here are the cuts. So there's two cuts inside here, and you can see pretty easily uh, that the, it jumps. Ten years. I just see myself in such an amazing place. In a so there was two cuts. Let's show you again. Um, ten years. I That's just see one. myself in such an amazing place. In That's another one, right? I just you can see. He's not moving a lot, and the background is completely static. So... Over here on the right, uh, wow. let's play this back. Wow. Um, ten years, I just see myself in such an amazing place, in a place where. Wow! Look at that. I see myself so three years. I see myself. Absolutely seamless. Let's show you how we did this. I'll delete these out of here. So we've got the same straight cuts. I'll go to my effects and type in morph. And you can see it's a transition, it's not an effect. And when we drag it on, it's going to start analyzing this. And what it's doing is it's analyzing the face. It's actually looking at the eyes, the eyebrows, the mouth. There's no control that you have to, to uh, change how it looks. It's just a background operation that looks at the, the settings of one frame, another frame, and then it morphs the two together. Uh, what you can do is double click on these and you can change uh, the value. I happen to be playing around with this and I, I know that in this example I made a shorter cut here 18 frames and this one 16 frames. Uh, and you can see, well I rendered this one before and you can see it's green. Um, this one is still figuring itself out and rendering in the background. If you ever use the morph cut transition and there's a little jump or it's it stutters a little bit and it doesn't look right uh, there's two things you can do the first thing you can do is go to the uh, file menu project settings general and turn off GPU acceleration go to software only next you can render these. Because I only have two transitions in here, it's only going to render those spots. But I could hit an I and an O, and then in my sequence settings, I could render in to out. And now it's going to render that. You'll see this next one that's red is going to turn green. Years. I see myself in such an amazing place. In a place. So, there. I see myself in such an amazing So. Don't give up on it if you drop it in and there's a problem. So this works really well in this interview. Let's go have a look at it, another example. So um, that in which fly rock. And you can see in this example here, he's saying the words fly rock. Fly rock. And he's getting it a bit of the tail end of the other one in there. So. Fly rock. It, it does look a little bit odd. Um, over here, it actually works really good. Was killed, 10 injured. Man was killed, 10 injured. So I've taken a good chunk out of that. Um, but if you have a look at the fire that's burning in the background, there's a bit of an issue. So let's zoom in to that fire, grab my hand tool, and pan over here. 
So now let's watch what happens. I'm just going to go ahead a little bit. And right there, you can see as the uh, morph is looking at the fire, it's actually blending the fire. And you can see it's morphing over there. Premiere Pro, I guess, must think that this is a face. And again over here. So not always perfect. Uh, again, it works really well with static backgrounds and without a lot of movement. Um, the one problem with this interview was uh, he tended to start to form the letters of the next word in the, in the pause. So if somebody is pausing and they're keeping their mouth in the same place like that, then you can take that pause out. But if they're taking, if they're stopping what they're saying and then opening their mouth, it's going to be a little bit harder because you don't have the same closed mouth thing. Bottom line is morph cut transition. When it works, it's like freaking magic and can save your bacon. So hopefully you found this informative. If you have, then please click on the subscribe button to video reveal. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, there's a special URL in the description for you to get your free 30 day trial. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best. Thank you.